So I had purchased this uh, HP Oman laptop around a half year back and I've been using it for most of my work and also some gaming whenever I get time. My most of work includes uh, developing Android app and uh, I have also installed uh, GTA 5 and uh, RDR2 to test the capabilities of the laptop. Please ignore the laptop pictures and PPT. These are AI generated. So this is the model number of my laptop and as specs and the name suggest it is an gaming laptop. This is having Ryzen 7 7840HS for the processor. In similar price I had an option for Intel i5 13 gen CPU. But since my work needed more powerful CPU, I decided to go with Ryzen 7 and it uh, never really disappointed me. For GPU, it is having NVIDIA's uh, RTX 4060 and I have played RDR2 Forza Horizon on it. And it really handles these games very well at 1080p or 2K. But if you switch to 4K, you will get less than 60 FPS. To cool it down, it has a dual fan design which is very good at uh, keeping temperature under control. For RAM, it is having 16GB of uh, DDR5 RAM and the good thing is that it is a single stick. In future, we can upgrade it to 32GB by adding one more. One thing I regret is going for 512GB variant is this is very less it is fast but i would suggest to go with at least a terabyte of storage okay and for os it has a windows 11 home and it is also having microsoft office for lifetime which is a nice addition now coming to display and design it is having 16 inch of ips screen it is a 1080p screen and it is very good with excellent colors. Uh, also, it's then higher refresh rate screen as it is a gaming laptop. But for my normal work, I always keep it at 60 hertz. As it is an IPS screen, viewing angles are very good. And this laptop is sufficiently bright for indoor as well as outdoor usage. If we talk about color accuracy, it doesn't disappoint. It covers 100% sRGB. Only part where it bugs me is the weight. The laptop weighs over 2.3 kilograms and if we add the weight of the charging brick, it's pretty heavy. There are other color options but you can check it out online. For connectivity, you are getting Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3. One problem with the laptop I noticed uh, is that whenever I'm connected to uh, 2.4 gigahertz network, the Bluetooth keeps disconnecting frequently. This doesn't happen when I'm on a 5 gigahertz network. Yeah, and so coming to the ports, we have two USB-C and a headphone jack on the left, as you can see. On the right, we have one USB 3.0. Other ports are on the back side of the laptop. As you can see, there's a charging port, an RJ45 LAN port, an HDMI and an USB 3.0. For webcam, it's a 1080p camera and it's good for normal meetings. You also get option to block the camera physically. Coming to the keyboard, it's a good keyboard. It is having 4 zone RGB and it feels very tactile with a good amount of travel. Apart from this, the battery life on this is good compared to other gaming laptops. I get around 6 to 7 hours of battery backup while using Android Studio. So that's all. Feel free to ask if you want to know more about the laptop or any other question. And if this video helped you out, uh, give us a thumbs up or and sub to the channel will be really appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.